Hello, this is Raina. Thank you for joining me today for this uh, Barbie crochet project. So yeah, me and Barbie, we couldn't wait for the summer anymore. So we decided to start designing and making our new summer outfit. Or at least uh, for spring break. So here I um, crocheted this um, little summer dress. I made a um, backpack for Barbie to put her beach things in. And then also she needs a hat to protect her from the sun. So let's crochet this cute dress first. So for this Barbie outfit, I'm using a Peyton's Grace 100% cotton yarn. Uh, this one is white and it's called Snow and this one is Aquifer. Kind of like turquoise uh, blue. And um, crochet hook size 3.5 millimeters. And we start with the white yarn. And we're going to chain 26 to begin. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to join this chain into a ring in the first chain with a slip stitch. And next we're going to uh, single stitch in each chain around. Start with that very first one. So into that same stitch, do the first single stitch and then you will have 26 single stitches around. After the first round of 26 single stitches, don't turn, uh, keep working in the round and from now on we are going to uh, single stitch in back loops only. So not through the bows, but through back loops here. And uh, single stitch in each back loop, so you'll have 26 again in this round. And after that second round of back loop single stitches, keep doing the same for two more rounds. So we're going to have four rounds of 26 single stitches. And you can uh, definitely put a marker here in this stitch to mark the beginning of the row. I just like to count my stitches. I did my four rounds of 26 single stitches in back loops and in the next round we're going to decrease two stitches. First we are going to um, single stitch in back loops six times. One, two, three, four, five, six and then just skip the next stitch here and keep single stitches in the next. And now single stitch 12, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And again skip next stitch, this one, and single stitch in the next to 6 more. One, Two, three, four, five, six. This round is finished. And next round, so here we had 24 stitches now. And next round again, we are going to decrease two stitches to end up with 22 stitches. First, a single stitch in back loops five times. 
one, two, three, four, five. Skip next stitch, this one, and single stitch twelve. After twelve single stitches, skip one again, skip this one, and do five more. One, two, three, four, five. So this was our sixth round. Now keep uh, st stitching the rounds uh, with 22 single stitches and um, make a total of uh, five rounds. And when I said uh, five rounds of 22 stitches, it included that first one where we did the decreases to get to 20. So when you count, you now um, have a total of 10 rounds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we have uh, two more rounds to do. We're going to increase in both rounds. So first one, single stitch, uh, five, two, three, four, five, and then increase in the next, single stitch twice in the next, one, two. Then single stitch 10, Again, increase in the next <clears throat> single stitch twice in it one two and then do five more one two three four and five so in this round we have now 24 stitches And for the last row of the bodice, we will increase two again. So first uh, single stitch six, then increase in the next, uh, single stitch twice in the next, then single stitch 10, again increase in the next, uh, two single stitches in the next, and then finish with six more. So you will end up with 26 stitches around. So our bodice is done and we are now ready to crochet the skirt part of the dress. So for that I will first slip stitch into the next and um, skirt is uh, going to be made with double um, crochet stitches. So first will be uh, two chains, counts as first, double crochet and then uh, double crochet once into the next. Again we are working back loops only. And now we're going to increase in each third stitch for the skirt. So for the next stitch, make two double crochets in it. Again, make one in each next two. So one here, one next. And again, make, uh, twice in the next. So do this all around. Okay, once, once, and twice. And you will have 34 stitches in this round. After 34 double crochet stitches, I will uh, join this round with a slip stitch into that second beginning chain. And it's time to bring in our uh, second color, which I chose the pretty turquoise blue. Start with a slip knot 
and this round we're just going to single stitch in each stitch around and back loops only. So first I'm just going to join that slip knot, pull the white one tight and then start um, single stitching in back loops. Each, sti each stitch around once. I did 34 single stitches in back loops with my blue yarn and I will finish this round with a slip stitch into the first one. And I don't fasten off my yarn, I keep it back here because I'm going to alternate with, bl uh, with blue and white and I don't really need to cut it off. Next round is the white yarn again. I'm gonna do a um, slip, pull the blue one tight. And um, again, we are going to do the um, double crochet stitches in each back loop and uh, increase the same way as in the first round. To, um, so first is um, two chains, next back loop double crochet, and next the third one increase, double crochet twice in it. Again one in the next, one in the next, and twice in the next. Keep doing this all around. So in this round you will have a total of uh, 45 double crochets. And again finish it with a slip stitch into that second chain of the beginning. We're going to change to the blue. I'm going to slip stitch through the white loop, pull that one tight, and then just start um, single stitching again in each stitch around, no increases, and back loops. So just like that previous one. And I'll finish this round the same way, slip stitch into the first blue single stitch and bring your white yarn to um, keep doing the next round of double crochets. So first do a slip stitch and pull blue tight, chain two and start double crocheting next back loop one and we're doing the exact same increases two double crochets in each stitch and then twice in the third again one one and twice in the next And so I have uh, 60 double crochets on this round. Again, slip stitch into the second chain of the beginning. Bring your blue yarn over. Do a slip stitch, pull white one tight. And uh, do the last round of blue stripe. Uh, single stitch in each stitch around, back loops. I did my third blue round, we'll finish it with a slip stitch into the first. And at this point we can cut off the blue yarn because we're finished with the stripes and fasten off. Now bring the white one, I'm just gonna insert my hook into that first blue here. 
slip through, make a stitch, and just do two, two chains here. That's enough for that. And now we're going to do the last increase round. So the same way, double crochet into the next, and twice in the next. Once in the next, once in the next, and twice in the third. Okay, and uh, I ended up with 77 double crochet stitches on this round. Let's uh, join this into that second chain of the beginning. And um, I uh, crochet now the edge with reverse single stitches. You're welcome to uh, do slip stitches in each uh, back loop uh, for a simpler edge but I will show you how I do the reverse single stitch. It's uh, gonna be a nice and curly edge here. So a re reverse single stitch is, uh, we're not going to move forward. We're going to move, move backwards, which is why it's called reverse. And again, I'm just uh, stitching into the back loops only. So the first one can be tricky. Insert your hook into that next back loop. Pull the yarn through, two loops on hook, and pull through. Next, again, so you have to bend your hook backwards like this. Insert through, pull the yarn through, and pull through again, two loops. It definitely took me some practice with the stitch to get it working right, but um, I'm sure you can do this. So let's do again. Insert in this one, pull yarn through, and pull through both loops. Again, insert here, pull yarn through. And then just keep doing this all around for the skirt edge. I did my last reverse single stitch into the first one and uh, we can now just cut off the yarn, fasten off and then afterwards we can uh, weave in this end and pull this last stitch backwards like this so it will blend in with the other stitches and it's going to be even okay so here's the dress with the bodies and we made the skirt and uh, we can now crochet the shoulder straps So for shoulder straps, I will join the yarn first to the slip knot. And I'm gonna start uh, from the back of the bodies. So this is the middle of the back and I'm gonna count four stitches backwards. One, two, three, four. And slip stitch into that one. Then slip stitch into the next one, third and fourth. And now we're gonna do uh, four more slip stitches on the other side. So one, two, three, and four. So eight slip stitches on the back. And now, just leave that end here. Let's do the shoulder strap, uh, chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven. And now skip five stitches here. One, two, three, four, five. And slip stitch into the next. And we're going to do seven more slip stitches. So total, again, eight in the front as well. So we did one, this is second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. And a second shoulder strap, chain seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, skipping those five stitches here. One, two, three, four, five. And now let's join into that beginning slip stitch here with a, a slip stitch also. And now just slip, sti slip stitch all around. So next one here. Next one here. Okay, and also slip stitch into each shoulder strap chain. There, I finished the uh, slip stitch round and that was the last one. We can now cut off the yarn, fasten off and our dress is done. So we just have to weave in all the ends. And you, you are ready to try it on your Barbie doll. I'm sure it fits nicely. So uh, let me know if you have any questions about this video. I would love to hear from you. And um, I will have a written pat pattern of this dress on my website. And uh, look out for the next video, how to crochet a Barbie backpack. Happy crocheting!